I love Zillow so much, and I love f***ing looking at houses. So we're here on Zoopla once more to look at them in the other places. What are the other places? Europe, UK. I was supposed to go to Europe and the UK and other places, but it didn't happen. But you know what is happening? My documentary of... I have to do these tours. It's a documentary. That's coming out on October 26th and October 27th. Ethan, why is it coming out on October 26th and 27th? Well, thank you so much for asking. It's coming out on October 26th here in Los Angeles. I'm doing a physical in-person premiere slash red carpet event. It's going to be super, super fun. So you can get tickets to that if you are willing to fly or if you are already in the LA area. That's going to be a one-time thing only happening there. Or you can watch it digitally if you can't make it to LA on October 27th. You can buy digital tickets and when you buy the digital ticket, you'll be able to watch the film up to a week later. So if you're like, oh, I want to watch it, but it's premiering when I have my colonoscopy. Don't you worry there, champ. You can still watch it later after you get back from your colonoscopy. So please come to the premiere if you can or get tickets to the digital one. All of the tickets can be found at I have to do this dot show. Yes, yes, so cute. <laughs> okay, let's get to the video. Give it to me, Lando Nini. I want to look at the highest priced houses. A block of flats for sale? No, I don't want that. I want the 12 bed detached house for sale. In Denim Place, Denim Buckinghamshire, UB9. Dude, I love UB9. This is a cool 75 million pounds, which is, I think, close to $80 million, something like that. We've got 12 beds, 12 baths, 14. What does 14 receptions mean? Is it chairs? You can fit whole 14 chairs in this motherfucker. Oh, it's very humble. <laughs> it is very, very humble. Look at this, huh? This is fucking... <laughs> Hold on. We've got fucking Pride and Prejudice ass house here. And then this room, this doesn't look real. This looks like it was made in Unreal Engine 3. The rest of this place, like it's... Who are you? Look at him. Does he come with the house? That's worth the 75 million quid day, bro. What do we have in here? We have a bar. Does this count as a reception? You got this one, which feels real out of place. You get a massage and then you take a bath in front of a person right there. See, it's like the rest of this place is old and might be haunted, except for this weird room. Feels like you might get killed or fucked. Not really sure which. Putting it at a f Four out of ten. This is a tier list now. 43 mil, huh? Right in my budget. The floors. I like these floors. This looks like a hotel. I wouldn't want that in my house. I like these floors a lot. This is cool looking. Now, hold on. I gotta say something. I gotta say something. I'm going to say something. And I feel like people might get mad at me for this. This is really nice, right? It's really nice. Not 43, 43 million for those. I mean, there's so much more. But for a 43 million dollar house, you'd think that there would be a nicer space than this. I'm not saying that it's not nice. It's really nice, but not 43 million. That bathroom's crazy. This feels like a hotel. This kitchen is really nice. But dare I say, see, this is 43 million. This is like, whoa, this is fucking insane. This one slab of con what I don't even, this is so expensive. I don't even know what kind of material this is. This kind of looks like a penis. What do we have here? 39 mil, a cool 39 mil. See this property looks really interesting. Are these seashells over here? The the seashells on this or whatever it is look stupid. Which to me reminds me that art is subjective. Cause this is probably a fucking $50,000 art piece. I wouldn't even want it. You got plates up there. <gasps> Russia. This is nice. You got random bamboo out here. I think that looks stupid. Ooh, indoor pool. Ooh, cool little bathroom with a separate bidet. The separate bidet seems inconvenient. What if I have shit leaking out of my asshole? There's so much poop that could be on this floor. Right in the gap there, you could really make a mess. <laughs> cool little cinema room, I guess. A little spa thing. The front of this looks weird. I don't really like the front of this. This is a house? It's in Piccadilly Bay Fair, London. This is a I'm gonna pay 35 million dollars for the answer, not even a floor there. There's holes in the floor. Someone's doing exercise here. They're doing fucking push-ups. 
What is this place? Why are these the pictures? It's got a freehold. Don't know what that is. It's grade two listed. It's period. It's terraced. It's town city. It's town. It's four or more garages. You can't specify what? How many? 32 mil for this eight bed detached house for sale in Terragunta Road. This is real nice. I like this. I like this. I don't really like, um, I don't like the wood looking stuff. Even though like my kitchen has it, but I don't like it. I want to change it someday. Change it to what? I don't know. I just don't love the thing that it currently is. You're gonna have a cinema room and you're gonna have these fucking chairs in here? Why? This feels like a weird combination of a cinema room and like a conference room. Whoa, they've got a pond and everything. Riverside Manor. That's how you know you got a fucking crazy place when it's called Manor or Estate or some other descriptive word. Slime -tion. It's like a slime mansion. You wouldn't understand. Look at this. It's ugly. That's how you know they're rich. What it would take for me to not jump off of that every morning. If I own this house. See this big ass circle in here? This hole. You see it. You love it. You, you love this hole. This circle right here. I take a big jackhammer and I go. And then I'd make this into a foam pit. Justin, put in a foam pit right in there. Could you imagine every morning what else we got here mm, too many places to sit eight nine ten eleven twelve people just sitting in here it's gonna be twelve people and then you got all this how many fucking places do you need to sit oh my god look at this one two three four five six 12, 13, 14. Also, this seems a little cramped, I've got to tell you. This is the kind of seating that you want. Big loungy, guys. This is actually probably one of the better cinema rooms, if not the best cinema room that we've viewed on Zillow or Zoopla. <laughs> fucking cuck chair in the corner. What? This is 25 million dollars. This is 25 million dollars. 25 million dollars? Yeah, it's got a lot of potential. You could do something great with this, but you're spending a billion dollars just to make this place. The carpet is gross. Under the carpet? Imagine what's been living under the carpet. It's gonna take so many people to take this TV off of here. What if it's wow wanted? These floors aren't refurbishable floors. Like you have to replace all of the flooring. This looks rot. Oh, this place looks cool. I have a question. Why do people do this? With the pillows. Why do they karate chop the pillows? Why not just keep the pillows normal? This looks like fucking frog eggs or something. Oh, they've got so many of them. Why? They're ugly. Throw them away. There's a lot of weird light fixtures in this one. This kitchen's crazy. This is like a, a kitchen. <laughs> kitchen. This... This feels like a weird place for a pool table. Like, this doesn't feel like this room should have a pool table in it. This feels like a nice library, like, office thing. This doesn't feel like a place that I'd hang out. I don't like the chairs face on the bed. Face the window. Are you face on the bed, cuck? Here's a question. What is a million dollars in the UK right now? This is really nice. This is really nice. This is pretty nice. I think this kitchen is really ugly. Really, really. Actually, now that I think about it, I think that most of these rooms are pretty ugly. Huh? <laughs> what have I stumbled upon? You get a house. Oh boy, do you get a house. You get a whole lot of land. It's a pretty nice house. Ugly kitchen, ugly bedroom, but it's for a fucking six year old girl. Who cares? And then, oh, you get a, a extra thing. Oh, it's a fucking vet. It's a dog shelter. What? <laughs> What is happening? Electric shock? What are you doing here? Why is this a part of this listing? Pretty big steal for a million bucks though. I know a million dollars is an unruly amount of money, but you get a dog, you get a dog shelter with it. I think that's all the UK has to offer me. Huh? Stay here forever. Now I have to look at this. What? So you're doing a three bed, three bath, which is, it's a good amount of room, good amount of bathroom. But you're seating like 35 people? What the fuck is this place? What's going on here? 
I like like the way this looks actually like it's cool looking but what's going on I like this furniture and I like the paint and stuff but how <laughs> anyway that's gonna do it for me here on Zoopla today let me know what you thought what was your favorite house and again please if you can please come to the physical in-person premiere in red carpet in LA. It's going to be a really, really cool event. It's only happening once, obviously, but I worked so hard on this documentary and so many other people worked insanely hard to make it happen. And there was so much work put into this from so many different people. Um, so if you can come to the LA premiere, um, I would love to see you there. And if you can't tune in to the digital premiere or buy a ticket for the digital premiere, which is happening on October 27th, the next day, you'll have access to that all week. So if you can't tune in at the particular time that it's premiering, don't worry, you can still get a ticket and watch it later on. Um, but if you want to do that, go to I have to do this dot show. You can get both tickets there the in-person uh la premiere or the digital premiere um so yeah thank you so much for watching god rest the queen